the hello this is the happy viet here the happy viet bring you the electrician video that you've been waiting for a long time okay okay so let's get the study here we do this right now right now motherfucker we do this right now watch me do the single track for the motherfuckers do my little bitches <laughs> what's up guys this is happy viet here and um this is the electrician video. This is the electrician video. I recorded this video footage um, back at the beginning of this month, and I actually never got around to recording it. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna be refreshing my memory as the game goes along. And uh, yeah, yo, let's do this shit, broski. Let's do this. Let's get this shit started. So I'm playing an electrician. Um, shout out to my friend Duck. He's Teal. He is in the clan. Um, not sure if he's in the clan right now. No, he's not. He wasn't in the clan yet. But I added him shortly afterward. <laughs> so, um... <coughs> Sorry about that. Um... <clears throat> So we're trying to figure out lanes, my starting items with electrician, hatchet, runes, and buckler. And I gotta admit, um, electrician and salute has got to be one of the scariest combos to lane against. <laughs> A lot of slows, poisons, damage over time, holds, I don't know, burst damage with his sh it, it's just a lot of stuff to worry about when you're playing against this kind of setup. So, um, here we go. We got the rune. Oh, we didn't get the rune, but, uh, they did. So, sucks. Anyways, uh, a little quick announcement. I'm gonna try to stop saying so many uhs and ums. So, every time I do, point it out. Just so, just so it can tick me off because if I get ticked off I'm more self-conscious about it so I don't do it as much so I'm going to be trying to do that less this video work on it if I want to be a better commentator I gotta work on that stuff we're just regular laning phase right here last hitting harassing and Slither is probably one of the best harassers without using any mana because of his his passive uh, damage over time skill toxic toxic city or whatever <laughs> but yeah so so it turns out to be one of the best harassers with that um look at up look at that he's already almost dead I think we're going for bloodless right here when he gets a stun off I almost died so luckily I live he doesn't <laughs> I'm gonna pull this real quick. I don't think. Yeah, I don't wanna go back to base. Cause I'm gonna miss out on precious, precious experience and precious uh, gold. So by pulling, I can stay close to the lanes, still get some experience and stuff. And I can help Slither out because they have a pretty offensive. Lane with Hammerstorm and Demented Shaman. Demented Shaman hits for hard. It sucks when you're laning against him and he's like killing you with just a little fucking lightning hammer or whatever the hell that is. Right here I'm denying our creeps just to make sure um, it completely denies the enemy team of any experience if you do that. So you kind of want to make sure you, you're doing that when you are pulling to not your own creeps before it gets to the, the, the creep line so they don't get experience from it. Slowly regaining my MP or HP. So the build I go, I usually, um, I usually max out the third skill first so that way I can do my stronger burst because hold is just temporary to, to dish out the most damage as possible um, 
or what I'm trying to say is well, I get hold level 1 because um, it doesn't do as much damage it only holds for like a second longer and it uh, it's just basically a disabler but in that time in the beginning levels you can probably uh, use a level 2 skill and do more damage to that person so that's what I'm trying to say um, I'm just hovering around right now even though I'm dangerously low because I I am I'm super super close to having my life too so I'm just gonna hover around the creep what creeps at this moment uh, I think Demented Shaman wants to go crazy on my pets so there he is he goes he does something um, so there with another good spray he's already almost dead uh, I, I judge Hammer's experience or I mean not experience MP um, to see if he has enough to to stun me and he doesn't so I took that chance and jumped right in and grabbed Dementor Shaman Hammer, Hammer knew he couldn't do anything so he just backed up oh, which is a good smart move if you can't do anything just don't go in especially if you're going against a Slither and an Electrician <laughs> the chance of you going in trying to kill that or Electrician you're probably going to get dominated by the Slither or either or because <laughs> Electrician hits were pretty hard too I like, I like Electrician oh um, well quick quick fact factoid Electrician was my first favorite hero ever so you guys didn't know. Now you know. I think I'm gonna go pull another creep wave. Not sure what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm pulling creep wave. It's a good habit to to learn how to pull creep waves if you're on the if your lines on the offensive. Uh, so they're just being really offensive, so I have to pull as often as I can. Cause you can see, so they're just like all the way up to the river. So I'm like, so then I'm gonna go pull this beer back. <laughs> Level 5. Still haven't returned to base. Good. And then with the pull, see, um, it comes. Uh, my pull gets out right when there hits the tower, so. Yeah. I think it's just a little bit about timing, you know. Dang, dude! That's the other hit. We can hammer store for hard. <laughs> if you notice. Just... The thing about grabbing any of these two is they can both of them can stun, so my my hold doesn't do that much. So I really have to just wait for Slither first. And even with that, I'm hoping Slither gets a good spray. Yep. Slither gets a good spray. On both. Or on hammer storm. And we get the kill. So right now we're dominating bottom lane. Even though D Shaman can heal and stuff, it's pretty hard to to go against this kind of a lineup. And expect to walk away with more than half HP, you know? This Hammerstorm Shaman is crazy. <laughs> Getting a little crazy right there because I see a mana or I see his uh, mana pot. I'm gonna go debuff that real quick. Shock. Our line's still crazy on the offensive. So I think I want to pull this back real quick. And if I do this right, this line should pull it all the way back to our tower. I'm not sure if I can calculate this right or anything. Because there, and then you can see the creep line coming down. Duck's pinging for the gank. Cause he's, he's running into problems right there. <coughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I, think I was just hovering around trying to get experience off these. And then, and then I realized, yeah, they need my help now. And these stupid fucking creeps blocking me. <laughs> so I didn't get that earlier. So I let those two die. I go for this devour. Try to get Slither to live. 
Bashing on this fool. I think, I, I think that's my taunt, I think. Not sure. Oh yeah, it is. So, yep. Smack down on the bower. Um, trying to use shock. Uh, when you use shock, you try to always want to use it on uh, enemy heroes. The only time you would use it on a, a friendly hero is if you are for sure they can get the kill on a running hero or you you know they have like a skill that stuns or disables or slows or something so you, that's the only reason you'd use it on your own hero um, other than that I always 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 use shock on, uh, on myself or enemy heroes never on never on uh, <coughs> friendlies so there, I already maxed out my uh, my burst, whatever the hell that skill's called. Sorry if I'm like talking super low. I just uh, woke up. Didn't want to wake up my peoples around. Oh my god, I hate this. The stupid sleeping system. So annoying. Trying to pull the, because of that, I like missed it completely. Didn't even get the archer. Just fail. <laughs> I hate that system, that sleeping system. It's really, really, really annoying. So if you're if you're watching this and he has two people, I hate it. Take it off. <laughs> Actually I did play with um I did play with several S2 play peoples the other day. Like a couple weeks ago or something. Um and I gotta admit it's pretty funny playing with some of them and then it it sucks at the same time because like you can't have the fun that you would in a regular game because you're always worrying about being banned you know <laughs> so you can't talk the trash that you usually do and then um what else and it, when you play with them no offense really but you re you learn to realize that uh that the people developing this game even though like they know how to develop it they know how to balance it and stuff they're not really that good at playing it, you know. So <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous because um, Sean didn't even know how to build his gladiator, <laughs> and then but then that game was totally effed. And then uh, Zenifer, Zenifer, like she fed like <laughs> what was it like five times in the first fifteen minutes as a succubus. So it was pretty ridiculous. And I was Hellbringer, and I got like five smackdowns on her. It was pretty bad. So, I don't know why it's lagging like crazy right now. Let's see, I'm trying to kill this mage bane before he jumps away. And then the shock. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know, I'm just hovering around and didn't want to waste the shock. I don't know why the shock war beast there. I forgot why. <laughs> but I'm gonna cut the video off pretty soon. And then I'll see you guys in part two of the electrician video. No, I'm currently four and four and oh and one assist. Let's see if I can get this kill right here. Just lose. Shock! Oh my god, I love that skill dude. It's like a built-in no fireblade. <laughs> so OP. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace.